Compute Engine is the backbone of Google Cloud. With its virtual machines supporting Kubernetes Engine, Cloud SQL, Vertex AI, and many other products. As a service, Compute offers great flexibility to its users. From a single small virtual machine to fleets of hundreds of GPU accelerated machines. It also enables you to manage the trade offs between cost to serve, obtainability of resources, and customer experience for your users. In this video, I'll talk about four ways of provisioning compute instances. Those are 1. On demand, the default most intuitive path, also called standard instances. 2. Through reservations, when the availability of the resources is critical. 3. Spot instances for workloads that tolerate occasional machine disappearance. 4. Dynamic workload scheduler. This method allows you to plan your workloads and run them when required resources are available. The on-demand or standard model is the simplest. Once you acquire a virtual machine, you keep it as long as you need it. This is a great solution for stable workloads such as hosting a website, database, or an AI model. And thanks to the live migration feature, the virtual machines can be kept running for years. Or perhaps you need an instance type that is so popular that you need to try different times or regions for it to become available. GPU accelerated instances are often challenging to find. To avoid such situations, Google Cloud allows you to create a reservation. When you create a reservation, you specify the type of machine and how many you need. From the moment a reservation is created, you are guaranteed that you'll have access to the hardware you specified. You need to remember that you pay for the machines you put reservations on, no matter if you actually create them or not. You can make use of the reservations by specifying them while creating a new VM, either in Cloud Console, where you can select the desired reservation from a Dropbox, using gcloud command, where you specify the reservation as an optional argument, or through the multiple client libraries that allow you to use Compute API programmatically. Another option is spot instances. We'll come back to reservations in a second. Spot instances are great if you accept that your machine might shut down at any moment with a short warning. In return, you can count on big discounts compared to the standard provisioning model because spot instances are created on request using the spare resources. In return, customers generally see 60 to 91% savings compared to on-demand pricing. It's possible because spot instances make use of the spare resources available in a zone. However, if there are no more available resources, every request for a standard VM will cause a spot VM to be preempted, so the resources can be used for a standard machine. To remedy losing VMs to preemption like this, you can combine managed instance groups with spot instances to automatically recreate any VMs lost once resources are available again. It's a perfect solution for stateless services that don't have any strict SLO requirements or batch processing systems that will simply retry to schedule a job in case one of the workers disappear. Now back to reservations. Future reservations, to be exact. If you know your requirements ahead of time, you can use Dynamic Workload Scheduler, a feature allowing you to manage your resources through two modes. Calendar mode, creating a reservation with a future date, allows Google Cloud to provide you with more resources that may not be available to you on demand at any time. Calendar mode is simple. Specify date range, specify requirements. If the request is accepted, you will get the resources when you specify it. Flex mode, uh, no, not that kind of flex. Flex as in flexible, like a cat. In Flex Start mode, you send your job specification to the scheduler, describing how many machines you need and for how long. The scheduler then starts to collect the machines as they become available. As soon as it has gathered all the hardware you requested, it provisions your VMs, enabling your workloads to run continuously for the entire duration of the capacity allocation. In case you like the idea of discounts associated with spot instances, but cannot accept having your machines preempted, there is another option to lower your costs. Committed use discount. It's a way of committing to use a certain amount of resources for one or three years in return for a discounted price. Similar to reservations, you will start paying for the committed resources with discounted price, even if you aren't using them yet. And that's it. Now you know the basics of provisioning virtual machines on Google Cloud. 
from the inexpensive preemptible spot instances to guaranteed capacity of reserved resources. I hope this video will help you make an informed decision on how to deploy your workloads. Check out the links in the video description to find more details about these topics.